Hello, this is Irani from DePaul School. Today let us discuss about 10th Standard Biology about the chapter Cell Division. Before we start about cell division, let us know about the structure of cell, the types of cell and the components of cell about the nucleus and chromosomes. As we know, life starts with a single cell called a zygote which undergoes repeated division to form an organism to perform various tasks. So we call cell as a structural and functional unit of life. Cell are of two types, prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. A prokaryotic cell lacks nucleus and a nuclear membrane, whereas a eukaryotic cell has a prominent nucleus with a well-defined nuclear membrane. So we human beings come under eukaryotic cell, bacteria is a prokaryotic cell. The two types of cells are plant cell and animal cell. Let us know about the structural difference of plant cell and animal cell. A plant cell is hexagonal in shape or rectangular in shape, having two layers, a cell wall, a cell membrane. It is filled up by cytoplasm, contains a large vacuole, and the nucleus towards the periphery. The cell organelles are present inside. Animal cell is oval in shape, filled with cytoplasm, contains a nucleus in the middle with nucleolus and chromatin fibers. In an animal cell, there is centrosome which splits to form centrioles, which is missing in plant cell. Now, why are the new cells produced? We know that these new cells are produced for four reasons. One is for growth, for replacement, for repair and for reproduction. What is growth? Growth means life starts with a single cell. Group of cells form tissues, tissues form organs, organs form organism. It's also responsible for replacement. Now, what is replacement? The new cells are formed and the old cells are worn out. For example, the RBC. They get destroyed after every 120 days. For repair, for formation of the new cells where the wear and tear takes place. For reproduction, to formation of a zygote, zygote to an organism. For all these things, it starts with cell division. So what is cell division? It enables life to perpetuate the generation after generation. All these events taking during this cell division are related to the structure called as chromosomes. So what are chromosomes? These are the highly coiled and condensed chromatin fibers present inside the nucleus in the nucleoplasm. It was first studied by a scientist called Walter Fleming in 1882 where he saw the dividing cells in the larva of salamander and he called the division as mitosis. The chromatin fibers inside the nucleus constitutes the fibers which is formed of two substances. One is DNA and the other is histone. DNA is a deoxyribonucleic acid and histone is a protein. Now let us study about the molecular structure of DNA. It was first studied by the scientist Rosalind Franklin in 1953, which she called as a macromolecule. Why is it called as a macromolecule? Because it is composed of two complementary strands, which is in a double helical structure. And this helical structure consists of repeated nucleotides. And these nucleotides contain three components, a phosphate group, pentose sugar, and four nitrogenous bases. These two strands, mm -hmm. that is one strand of DNA and the other strand of DNA, they join together to make a ladder-like arrangement forming the rungs of the ladder. The four types of nitrogenous bases are adenine, guanine, thiamine and cytosine. Adenine always combines with thiamine with a double bond of hydrogen and guanine with cytosine with a triple bond. 
histones are proteins which help in coiling and packing of dna into structural units called nucleosome so what are nucleosomes nucleosome is a dna which contains eight histone proteins which forms a complex called as nucleosome the entire chromatin fiber are coiled and supercoiled which eventually form a chromosome so what is a chromosome a chromosome is a structure which contains two arms called as the chromatids which are centrally joined by a structure called as centromere the tip of the chromatid is called as telomere and the outer covering of the chromatid is called as pellicle centromere attaches the two chromatids or it holds the two chromatids and also it attaches to the spindle fibers during cell division these chromosomes they appear during cell division after the completion of the cell division these chromatids they condense and revert back to form the chromatin fibers which is long and thread like structures in the chromosomes there are genes what are genes genes are specific sequence of nucleotides which encode a particular protein which expresses in the form of some particular feature they are the units of heredity which are transferred from parents to offspring so after knowing the structure of chromosome and genes we'll study about the cell division in a next coming video thank you